this episode, I'm going to tackle a very low-hanging fruit topic. Um, whether or not you should, uh, which version of the elven bow you should go for. Dr. Diggs did a, did a video on, uh, which version of the, of the wind spear you should go for. The answer is crit. Um, but no one's asking, uh, there's no love for Rosa. No one's asking which elven bow you should go for. And there's, it, there's a clear reason why. I mean, the elven bow is a pretty no-brainer in between, between the two versions. Uh, no one really goes for vital any kind of weapon. Uh, the vital weapons never give you any kind of uh, worthwhile health. So it's between aim and crit. And uh, obviously it's the crit version here. Um, there's two reasons for this. One, uh, the crit version gives magic attack. Uh, I have a leveled up version. It gives magic attack here. Uh... There aren't that many bow users that also use magic uh, that would probably want this. Uh, so this is basically mainly designed for Rosa. Uh, that being said, Rosa's main job is uh, Rosa's main job has the sure hit, uh, sure hit arrow, and it has the uh, holy spell, uh, both of which are sure hits. So on a unit that has two sure hit attacks. Why would you want accuracy? That just makes no sense. So, uh, yeah, don't go for the aim version. Uh, also, stats-wise, uh, the critical version has much more stats. Um, for At the cost of 13 accuracy, you get, uh, you get 13 attack, you get, I believe, 20 uh, magic, and another uh, 7 crit, uh, 15 crit. So you get 15 crit, uh, 13, att 13 attack, and 21 magic for using the crit version. Uh, and there's no sense in you using the accuracy version, right? The, the, you have 12 accuracy. 12 accuracy in and of itself is not bad uh, by any means. Uh, and on top of which, she has two surefire attacks. So there's no, there's no point in getting the aim version. Uh, there's literally a reason why the game gave you three elven bows. Uh, I got this one from the game. Uh, this one and this one. I got three plus two elven bows from the game. Uh, and all three of them are crit. Like, this one's crit. Uh, this one's crit. And this one's crit. I don't know if, like, everybody else got different types of elven bows. I think when you get them from the game, it's the same type. Basically, the game's telling you to go crit. Uh, so, go crit. This is a lot easier to tackle than uh, Wind Spear. Wind Spear, uh, I don't even have a. I don't even have an. Oh, there's the Assault version. Um, assault Wind Spear. Uh, it's, it's a question of 36 attack versus, uh, I believe it's well, an extra 12 accuracy and an extra 20. Uh, and an extra. Because this is five times, and this is uh, two times. And let's see if I have a aim wins. One aim? Nope. Uh, crit one. Here's the crit one. So it's double the accuracy and triple the crit at the cost of 36 attack. So on a side note, wind spear, uh, go, wind spear, go for crit. But uh, the and this one's debatable. Like wind spear is somewhat debatable. Uh, this one, elven bow, it's hands down crit. Um, you you have no. There's no point in you having an accuracy elven bow because you're not going to give this to anyone else other than Rosa, because every other archer is not magic. Uh, and the one that is magic, being Rosa, already has two surefire attacks in her main job. This isn't even her sub job. Like, even if you're running Rosa as a uh, black mage, you would still want, uh, you still want the crit version just for the increased magic. Because if she runs into anything evade, just hit him with the surefire hit. Um, and this is coming from me, I personally play uh, evade in arena class matches and all that. And I hunt evade specifically, so yeah, <laughs> uh, go for the crit version. Alright, that was a short video, a very low-hanging fruit. I hope you guys have a nice day.